that working? Yeah. Uh, today's reading is from Romans uh, chapter 6, verses 1 to 10. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. Because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we believe with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. Sorry. The death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. Well, I am. Do I have to switch this one on as well? Yeah. Right, okay. I am truly grateful for you inviting me here on this really, really special day. I love baptisms. Reuben, it feels a real privilege, so thank you for allowing me to be a part of your special day. I feel we have a connection because Reuben, um, one of his bits of his story is that he went on a camp this summer uh, in a place called uh, Ripon, uh, where kind of it really helped you in your faith, didn't it, Reuben? It helped you come to this decision. It's uh, one of the camps that my daughter used to help on, um, and, uh, some, and my godson still helps on with, so it feels really, really special. So I just want to tell you, talk to you about baptisms. Is that all right? Because a baptism is amazing. It's a birth, a bath, and a burial. Okay, three Bs, if you can remember that. A birth, a bath, and a burial. Okay. Um, the first bit in, in, the, in the, um, uh, the passage says, What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. Paul is saying here to the, Look, have things changed now? Are things going to be different? Or are we going to do things just the way we did them before. And Paul says, by no means. And uh, a long time ago, I learned Greek. And the Greek for by no means is meganoita. Okay, you can remember that, meganoita. And because I'm very immature, we thought, me and my friends thought this was a really cool word. So we started using it in our English going, when instead of, you've got to be joking, we go, meganoita. Okay, like that. It's just a cool word, isn't it? And it means absolutely not. You cannot stop even thinking about going back to where your life was before. Once you're baptised, it's a new life. Once you come to Jesus, you can't have an old life. You get a new life. Are you going to go back to your old life? Meganoita. By no means. Not on your nelly. You've got to be joking. This is a new start. This is a new start, and which is why, Reuben, I'm so excited for you, my friend. This is a new start. In a sense, it's not the baptism of this start, it's when we come to know Jesus for ourselves, when we say yes to the Lord and all he's done. It's a new start. It is Will you come and help me? We asked your dad to come. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'd love to. It's a bath. We're going to go and have a bath soon, aren't you, Ruben? And uh, baths are great. I have four children, and I remember 
my daughter was absolutely fine, but all my three boys, you clean them up, and you could, within half an hour, they were absolutely filthy. So every day, I use some water. You might need to stand up here. Stand up. Yeah, you might even have to go a bit even further than that. And we would use water to clean them. You can now use that however you want. You could pour water over and get very wet like that, couldn't you? And we're going to get Reuben really wet. He's going to get totally soaked and he's been made clean. Do you know when you get in the bath or in the shower and you're filthy after football or something like that and it just, all that rubbish washes after you. It's all gone, all the dirt. Well, a baptism is saying we're all going to get dirty. <laughs> we're all going to get dirty because we mess up, we do things wrong, we say things wrong, we, we, we think things wrong. And the dirt isn't on the outside, but on the inside, in our hearts. And it hardens our hearts and makes us mean and cruel, unkind, unthoughtful. But what's happening to Reuben is he's having a bath. <laughs> but it's not a bath of the outside stuff. You can go home for that. It's a bath of the inside stuff and the promise that you'll be washed clean of all the wrong and all the sin in your life. You can sit down now, but I might need you again in a bit. It's a bath. But you can only be clean because of what Jesus has done. And we proclaim the fact that Jesus was God and he came to earth to sort us out. And though God was massive and created the world, he decided, I love you guys so much that I'm going to become one of you. And he was born a baby, a real baby, totally human, and yet totally God. And he went around and did amazing things. He loved people. He made people better. He made blind people see. He made deaf people hear. He made dead people dance. So much love and goodness. You'd think everybody would love him. But actual fact, because we've got that sin on our lives, they grabbed him, and you know the story, they killed him, they nailed him on a cross, and he died. But he did that to sort out all that rubbish in our lives. He said, I'm going to take on all that rubbish, all the sin, and all the wrong. And he got nailed on a cross for us. So it's a bath, but it's also a burial. I need some volunteers from the young people, from the children. Any volunteers? Well, come up, come up. I'll move the water away, but I do have a twitchy hand. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah if you'd like to come up, all you now need to do is go and pick an adult. Hold on, but let, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Because we're going to have a piggyback race. So think about the adults. Think about the adult. What adult would you like to choose? Who's going to have a pig? You're going to have a piggyback race. I'm only, I'm only here to break someone's back. All right. So go and choose an adult. Go and choose an adult that you would like to do a piggyback race with. Good decision. Okay, this could go horribly wrong. My apologies. Do, we are insured, aren't we? <laughs> so once you've chosen your adult, come, on, come, come here. Okay. Right, have you chosen your adult? Okay. So we're going to have a, a sedate race, and I can see all sorts of problems here with, with equipment and things like this. So risk assessment. Risk assessment. Um, I'm worried already. Um, 
So all you have to do is uh, we're going to do uh, see if everybody can get all the way around with a piggyback from here all the way around this thing. Okay, so you ready? Oh, hold, oh wait, 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 wait. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't say this. So it's the children are carrying the adults. Okay. Are we ready? Go. Now, now, will you just stay out for a second? Will you just stay out with, 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 with your pet adults? Okay. Um, I, as I said, I love walking up hills. And um, when my now six foot four, 26 year old, about to be a dad son was a baby, I loved just popping him in a carrier. And I've got pictures of me up various mountains with my Aiden on my back as I walked up and down hills. I carried him. He went up lots of very steep hills, pulling my hair all the time. No problem at all. Why? Because I carried him. Now, swap round and see if it's any easier. Go! Brilliant. We won by five. Lovely, give them a round of applause. Why, why did I do that apart from, I like having fun, <laughs> is that baptism for Reuben in a few moments is about a bath, but it's also a burial. And what he's going to do is he's going to jump on Jesus' back. And he's going to die. That's what the Bible tells us. It says, Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Reuben, if you're serious, and I know you are, those of us who have been baptized and those who are thinking about being baptized, this is the deal. That we jump onto Jesus' back and we go down into the water. But what is that? It's a burial. You're going to go, all under, the, go under the water, and it's a picture of being buried, of, di- being, of, of dying. Jesus died on a cross, and he sorted out our sin, our brokenness, and our selfishness. And then he invites us to join with that death. But what, when it was, was actually in fact, us then are killed. But it's our old self. It says our old self is dead. All the old stuff, all the rubbish, all the selfishness, all the unkindness, all the sin gets crucified with Jesus. He takes our rubbish into his death and says, I want to die with you. I want to hold on tight. I want to piggyback on you so that your death will mean that all my sin dies. It's a bath. It's a burial. And I'm hoping, Reuben, when they put you under the water... It's not going to be too long before they bring you out. I don't know how good you are at holding your breath. Because you're still holding on to Jesus. 
an actual fact. It's a birth. It's a resurrection. Just like Jesus, who was killed, put into a grave, but because he's got so much love and power, broke out again after three days. So that's what's going to happen to Reuben. He's going to be buried, so all his old self is going, but then he's going to rise again, holding on to Jesus, to a new life. A life of the presence of God. A life of the peace of God. And a life with the power of God. And that will become your inheritance, Reuben. That's your right as a child of God. You'll get his presence, his peace, and his power because you've had a bath. You're clean and forgiven. Because you've been buried with Jesus and your old self has died and that you've also got a birth, a new birth. You're raised to life to be with him, not only now, but for the whole of eternity. Reuben, thank you so much for letting me be part of this very, very special day. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you that we can piggyback on you, on all that you've done, on your goodness and your love for us. And that we can't carry the weight of the world and all the things we want to do. But we trust that as we jump on your back, you will take us. You will fill us. You will empower us to be lights for you in this world. Amen.